It was created in Texas by a local sheriff who was looking for a little girl named Amber Hagerman. And he came up with this concept that radio stations and TV stations should broadcast pictures of children are missing immediately. My belief was that the nationwide, federally funded, federally run emergency broadcasting system should warn us that a child is missing. That battle on Capitol Hill took six stupid, long, painful years. When it became a national law, the first year they saved 117 kids. I just still have the resentment of why it took Congress six years to make it a national law. I think it was the constant badgering of going to different offices and saying, you know, this is the time that the public should know that you are holding this up in committee. You want money for the bridge to nowhere if you vote for the Amber Alert. It took them three and a half hours to decide whose name was going to go first on the Amber Alert. It was the most frustrating experience. And guess who went outside in the hall and said, this is BS, we got to get it done. He's still a friend of mine, love him or hate him, it was Joe Biden, our vice president, took these people out in the hall and said, this is ridiculous, this needs to be passed, we could be saving a life. So it should have been done years ago, but it does save lives. <laughs>